<laughs> my goodness. and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you a quick little tour of uh, Penny's Nursery and kind of show you how we are trying to adapt to this like minimalist lifestyle in all areas of our life but um, just about um, her stuff and her belongings are going to be in today's video. So I'm gonna give you a little nursery tour and show you how we are, I'm sorry I'm swaying, that's a mom thing. I'm gonna show you her wardrobe and how we have cut it in half pretty much, probably more than half, as well as the toys and books that she has right now and kind of just give you a tour of how we're trying to um, minimalize the things that she has so she's not overwhelmed and she's not just like consumed with stuff as it's so easy to do when you have a baby, right? So um, I'm gonna show you a tour of her room and let's get started. So you come into her room. We can start with her closet. So her closet is not really a space that we use, obviously, for clothes. She has a wardrobe for that that I'll show you. Um, so all we really keep in her closet right now, and this is all gonna come out, um, because right now we just have, this is a ceiling fan that we need to install in her room. So that's just the box for that. These are extra little crib rail covers. We didn't need this many, so that's just where the extra ones are stored. And then she has her suitcase for when we travel. And then this is a box of diapers that I ordered that were too big for her. So I'm just hanging on to those until she grows into them. And then just a few framed pictures that I need to hang. Um, and that's pretty much it for down there. There's a baby and As you can see we don't really hang any clothes in her closet. We just have extra hangers a lot of these I'm going to move upstairs to the baby's room and That is a crib mobile that Penny used to have but now that she's not really like a newborn anymore or an infant I took it out and This I ordered this on Etsy and I can link where I bought it in the description box and it is so cute. It's just a felt little flower mobile. Um, and then she just has a couple of like hanging outfits that um, are for the beach that didn't really work in her um, wardrobe. And then I think she's going, she got this as a gift but I think it's already too small so I'm gonna take this upstairs to the baby's room. And up here is just her Easter basket her um, Halloween little trick-or-treat bag, her baby book that I never really got that far on. I need to work on it. I think I only have a few pages filled out. And then just a few books that are seasonal and then her Halloween costume. And that's pretty much all that's in the closet. We got this at Ikea and I had my husband hang it so we can hang her outfits that she can reach and kind of help herself get dressed in the morning. I don't have anything on it right now. Everything's pretty much in the washing machine right now. So we have that there. She does have this little um, ice cream cart. I got her this for her birthday and she is still like completely obsessed with it and loves putting together ice cream cones. This is actually a neat little toy by Skip, I'm sorry, by Leapfrog, which I think Leapfrog has really good like educational toys. Um, but this is neat. You can turn it on and it teaches you like how to count. It tells you how to count money. I mean, I don't know if this is actually like effective for her right now, but anyway, she likes that. And then we have her changing table. All she has on her changing table is her pad, um, her wipes, the Hatch Baby sound machine that I talked about in my favorites video and you guys this is the best sound machine ever go watch that video if you want to learn more about it but it is so awesome in this cabinet she's got her diapers and her wipes in the middle and then on the left side i've got these little baskets from marshall's and this is where all of her bows are and then this is where we keep her socks she just has a few pairs of knee socks some little poof ball socks, and then a few pairs of regular socks. And then in this other cabinet, she has her shoes. This is all the shoes she has with the exception of, she has one little pair of gold moccasins that 
go here. I think those are in the car. Um, but she just has tennis shoes and two little pairs of boots. That's all she's got for shoes. That's all she needs for shoes. Um, so this is all kind of like extra parts that go to her car seat, um, her toddler car seat and her infant car seat. These are just bagged up. It's like the um, infant inserts and things, newborn inserts, things like that. So I just keep them in this drawer. And then this is a baby monitor that we, I don't have hooked up right now. We just have the Nest Cam we're using and actually love it. And I'll probably use this in the baby's room upstairs. This is some pump parts for my nursing pump. And then this is just a bag of storage cubes for her suitcase when we travel. And then to this side, we just keep, I got these little zipper pouches at the container store. And this is where I keep all of the manuals for her baby products. And then this zipper pouch has all of her items from when she was born, like her hospital bracelet, um, mine and her dad's hospital bracelet, some baby invitations from baby showers, some ultrasound pics, um, some money she got as gifts and cards. I just keep all that in this little zipper pouch. And then more um, little manuals and cards in bags here. So I keep all that there just so I know where it is. It's all in the same spot and that's everything that we keep in that drawer. Just have her diaper pail, a rocker that I got on Wayfair with a little poof. She's got an air purifier over here and this is her bookshelf that we got at Marshall's. So for her books, I rotate these um, like the ones I show you in the I showed you in the closet. I kind of rotate between those. Um, unless they're seasonal, then I only bring them out for that season. And that's all her books, and they're down here so she can reach them and pull them out. And in the drawers, I just keep small, a few smaller books. So she's got a few here. Um, just a couple of little small books right there. Okay, and then she has a basket for her stuffed animals, and this is where you can really get out of hand having too many stuffed animals and toys. Um, so I often pull out toys to donate if she starts to lose interest in them or if they're just, you know, past her age range, I guess. Um, so this is really all she's got in there. She's got a couple of baby dolls. These two little, um, I mean, I think everybody probably has these. She has a girl and a boy. She got these as gifts. Um, and she still loves them, so I still keep them. And then she just has a few stuffed animals in there that she still plays with. And then in her cozy reading nook corner, she has this kitty cat that she's obsessed with and a little llama, and that's it. That's all of her stuffed animals. So this basket is kind of like just little random toys. Um, she got this for free at a fall festival and she is obsessed with wearing it, so the day she gets tired of it, it's gone. She's got a few little baby dolls in here. If you've ever seen these baby dolls, get one. They are amazing and they smell like vanilla. They like scent their faces with vanilla and they're awesome. A few little stuffed animals, a little soft book, and three toys that talk to you. You know, battery toys that teach you letters and numbers and things like that so she can hang on to these these are good for the car ride too keep everything in a basket keep it there and then she's got her crib i talked about these two on my favorites video these are the um crib rail covers that are awesome and you can see they just kind of like zip over each crib rail and they give you some extra head support you know she can't like if she bumps her head on these they're padded so they feel so they're soft and yeah I am obsessed with these. They are awesome. She's got some books up here, more display books. These are her Christmas books that we pull down and read. And then her, uh, this is a year of Penny. It's the book, it's picture books. One book per month, they're from recently. Um, they're like little photo album books. I keep them up there. And then for her clothes, this is her wardrobe and it looks like a lot to me right now because it's full. It's got all of her jackets, which she's got about five or six jackets. Um, and then some sweaters 
and that's all of her hanging clothes and here she's got leggings and some pants and then these are her little play shirts and I am doing laundry right now so when the laundry's done this basket still is not full it'll probably fill up to about here with her play shirts and then she's got probably about five or six pairs of leggings that are being washed so that in addition to this is all that she's got pants play shirts um, hanging clothes, sweaters, a couple of dresses, and some jackets. Here she just has bloomers for dresses. And she probably has more bloomers than she has dresses just because I have kept them. And she's got two pairs of shorts in the wash. So she'll have three pairs of shorts. And this is kind of a seasonal drawer. She's got a little beach cover up, a beanie, a couple of pair of tights, and then about two bathing suits. And that's all she's got in there. This is her jammy drawer. This is probably what she has the most of. She probably has about eight pairs of pajamas being washed right now. Um, so all in all, she probably has about maybe 15 pairs of pajamas. Enough to get her through two weeks just because obviously you wear pajamas every day. She's got a, uh, the sleep sack here. She doesn't really wear this anymore, but I keep it there. And then a pair of mittens. And then this bottom drawer is just a couple of blankets and then two pairs of extra sheets per crib. And that's all that's in there. That is pretty much her wardrobe. And her Christmas light wall that I am obsessed with. So that is everything for her bedroom. Um, I'll probably still continue to work on it. It's a work in progress, but I'm happy with how it looks now and all the things that we have um, minimalized, gotten rid of. I'll give you a quick bathroom tour. I did all this on my Instagram stories, um, but I thought I'd make a quick video about it as well. This is a little, um, this is like her Montessori get ready area. I got this towel, I guess it's called a towel bench at Ikea. Um, so I have a little mirror that's at her height, that's at her eye level that she likes to stand at when she brushes her teeth and brushes her hair, things like that. Um, and then she's got a little bowl and pitchers we can fill with water if she needs to wash her hands or brush her teeth. We kind of do it in this little section and it's just so convenient. It's helping her teach, it's teaching her to be more independent and just learn how to do those easy like day to day tasks. Um, then she's got her counter, which just has, you know, bathroom stuff. Under the cabinet, I try to keep really simple too. So I just, She's got, she's got a set of towels with, I think, three or four towels each. I just folded those. I need to put those down here so her towels go down here. She's got swimmer diapers, and this is where I keep her extra diapers. Just under here, she's got a diaper pack, a couple packs of wipes, and that's all that we keep under there. Just her washcloth, some extra toilet tissue, some aquaphor, um... And then some ba a few baby products that I really don't ever use. This is more for like travel purposes. Um, that's all she's got there. From Container Store that hold medicine, which we really never use, but we have it there anyway. That's there. Keep all that together. And then some Dr. Bronner's, a little decorative piece that normally is on her counter, but I took it away when I decorated for Christmas. And then a couple of things of hand sanitizer, a candle, and then a towel. And then she's got a few bath toys. This little water pump thing is from Amazon and it is awesome. I highly recommend this. I will try to link it below. And then she's got a few bath toys. And a little shaving mirror I got from Goodwill for a dollar probably. I think it was about a dollar. And she likes to look in this mirror when she takes a bath. And we brush her hair and it's just a nice little um, addition to her bathtub. So that's everything for her nursery. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new. I've got a ton of new content coming in the new year for you that's going to be based around organizing, decluttering your life, and just some motivational, inspirational stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one on Wednesday. Bye guys.